24 hours on in Washington, D.C., they're still talking about a threat beyond the clouds. In space, where modern warfare has gone before, and reportedly Putin is going again. But whatever the truth is out there, down here, details had been thin on the ground. I can confirm that it is related to an anti-satellite capability that Russia is developing. Now, there is more. First, this is not an active capability that's been deployed. And though Russia's pursuit of this particular capability is troubling, there is no immediate threat to anyone's safety. Weaponry in space is nothing new. The American politicians who first leaked news of this development had spoken of a serious national security threat. The worry is about the risk faced by the global network of satellites, over 8,000 of them. In orbit now, the number used for communication stands at over 4,500. They include Elon Musk's Starlink network. Satellites looking down on the Earth number more than 2,000, including hundreds of military craft. And there are more than 300 navigation satellites, powering everything from maps on our phones to global shipping. The major concern is that a Russian nuclear-powered satellite could use its energy stores to send a pulse of electromagnetic energy, frying the circuits of Western satellites with the aim of leaving Russia's intact. These are pictures of Russia's defence minister visiting a company producing electronic warfare systems designed for space. The Russians haven't launched any nuclear-powered satellites uh, since the uh, late 1980s, early 1990s. But we, again, we know there is evidence that they resumed this uh, program uh, about 2014. That is when this top-secret nuclear-powered project seems to have started. Space watchers here are eyeing the potential threat. What makes more sense is the possibility of some sort of space-based jammer. That is to say, a satellite that may get up close to other satellites and try and interfere with the signals coming from them, and that perhaps there's a nuclear power source for part of that. Moscow has dismissed the claims as a ruse to engineer U.S. support for aid to Ukraine. Over time, Russia's ambition in space has evolved. Our cameras are some 12 kilometers from the pad. Today, but it looks different, but still in Washington, later, doesn't land well. In James Matthews, Sky News, in Washington.